Well, just first of all, that was North London Forever, which is the anthem of my soccer team, Arsenal. <laughs> Only you soccer in America. We are currently top of the Premier League for the first time in 18 years. <laughs> after 18 years of pain and torment and torture. Nobody cares. Finally, we're winning. <laughs> but none of your viewers care, so I'll move on to what you do care about. Democrats keep looking for ways to deflect blame on surging violence in America's streets. Out in Los Angeles, a homeless man stabbing a woman in the head with a pair of scissors in an unprovoked attack. She's now recovering from a traumatic brain injury. And in New York, a man was pushed to his death in front of a subway train after he accidentally bumped into another rider and knocked over his cell phone. Well, the mayor of this city, Eric Adams, argues that the idea of cities being unsafe mm. is just an illusion. We're dealing with actual crimes, those eight uh, homicides, and we're dealing with the perception of fear that people are feeling. That's the combination. And I must deal with that per perception and the actual crime. We can't get away from the fact we have 3.5 million people using our subway system. We, we have to be honest about that. And those average of six crimes a day is not giving the impression that our system is out of control. Mm. Mm. Well, Judge, I think delusion may be the theme of tonight. Yes. Uh, this seems to be a mayor completely deluded about what fear of crime actually involves. You know, Piers, the real problem is New Yorkers are desperate and they voted for that man because he was a former police captain. And everything that he's, that he's done has been yeah. inconsistent with that prior CV. I still want to see this guy with his sleeves rolled up out there at the scene of a homicide, bad mouthing Albany for the for the laws that we have. But for I've seen people blame crime on circumstances, on the pandemic, on poverty. They blame it sometimes on the criminal, sometimes on the victim. This guy's blaming crime on our perception of whether or not we see it as a crime. He's wrong. The stats belie everything that he says. And you know what? If the mayor of New York City is going to get up and he's going to make a statement about statistics, he ought to be right. First of all, crime is up on the subway. Uh, it's the highest it's been in 25 years. Mm -hmm. And the people riding the subway now, it's less than half of what it was mm -hmm. two years ago. So we've got double, triple the crime with half of the people riding the subway. Homelessness is out of control. Crime on the subway is out of control. All of us have seen images of women being raped on a platform, yep. of people being pushed in front of a train, of Asians being beaten at a, at a, at a subway station. And I'm just talking about crime on the trains. You know, damn it. You know, every time someone is injured, he wants to talk about perception. Why don't you go out there and deal with the victims and the reality? Greg, you were snorting audibly during what he was saying there. I mean, the one stat... That was baby you... powder. <laughs> <laughs> the stat that sprang out to me, 22 people have been murdered on the New York subway since the start of 2020, including Jeez. eight this year. I don't care what part of the world you're from. If 22 people are murdered on the subway yep. in two years, that is not a, a perception issue. Yeah, that is a, a reality. Especially, and you, can t you, you know that perception is reality when you compare it to a previous period of time and then you see the increase. That's how you come up with statistics. These aren't just anecdotes. The city is a barrel and we're the fish. And I think that's happening everywhere. We had the, there was a promise of this new mayor. I think it's run out. I don't think it's entirely his fault. This is the fault of one party rule. There is no resistance when the brake lines are cut, right? This is a single parent household and the single parent can't take the kid take care take care of the kids anymore. The Dems need Republicans or you're going to end up like Chicago, you're going to end up like NYC, Minneapolis, Louisville, San Francisco, LA. The only way this can work is if people work together, but the problem is it's the, there's a certain kind of new leader, this progressive leader who doesn't believe that what we are doing is actually fair, that actually law and order is oppression. And so you look at homelessness, you look at drug addiction, you look at crime, you look at the border. What do they have in common? Nothing's being done. Exactly. And when you talk to these leaders, you get the feeling that that's exactly what they want. Yeah. So it's like when you're yelling, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Maybe this will come to a head and we'll be able to remake society in a completely different way because everything sucks. Dana, the number one issue, burning issue for New Yorkers right now, according to a new right. poll, was crime. Yeah. Even more than inflation. So I found that staggering, but very enlightening yes, about so what they care about. Yes, so that's people seeing with their own eyes and then making a decision that there's got to be a change to what you're saying, that, may, that perhaps this, this is the straw that breaks the camel's back and maybe gets some changes. I, uh, 
friends on both sides of the aisle that work in political consulting believe that Republicans are going to pick up all of the seats on Long Island, and most of the seats in the Hudson Valley are probably theirs as well. So that's a, that's a, that's a big change. But one of the reasons you have a perception is based on your own two eyes mm. and is also based on the thing that your husband says, you're not taking the subway. You're not walking home. Therefore, you have to leave an hour early because the traffic is so bad because no one's on the subway. Mm -hmm. Also, no one's on the subway. Guess what? That means that no one's paying to be on the subway, which means it's going to go bankrupt. And then the federal taxpayers are going to have to bail out New York City subway system because there's, you have to have a subway system in the nation's capital. And the inflation border crime issue, like we say about the theme, mm. it's really remarkable. Mm. In, in each of these instances, you have Democrats saying inflation's transitory, it's not really happening, it's not that bad, the, the economy's strong as hell. What? Oh, the border is secure. What? Crime is just your perception. What mm -hmm. are you talking about? I just I'm had a nice dinner. I just had a nice dinner. There was no crime. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's the point, Jess, isn't it? This delusion <laughs> theme is a running theme, yep. uh, I think, of this administration mm -hmm. and people off it. They just seem to want us to not believe what we're watching with our own eyes and hearing with our own ears. It is delusion. It is. I'm afraid of rats. Mm. Let's say I go to your castle, and <laughs> during dinner, a rat scurries across my penny loafer. Now, you could say, Jesse, the chances of you getting bitten by a rat are infinitesimal. I don't care. I want you to set a rat trap, and I want a dead rat. That's what the country wants. They want action. They don't want to be explained how in the context this may be not that big of a deal, mm -hmm. especially when it is a big deal. Imagine during the war on terror when people were afraid of domestic terror attacks. Mm -hmm. Barack Obama or anybody didn't get out there and say, well, you know what, the chances of you dying from a domestic terrorist right. attack by ISIS is very, very small. You could actually have a better chance of dying from a car accident. No, we wanted to kill terrorists. We wanted people to take action. What the leaders now are doing, they're afraid to take action. They're, they're afraid of the consequences of taking Which action. Which is so weird because, actually, being tough on crime is a surefire election winner. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Especially when people actually have a perception there's a lot of crime. So who are they, who are they scared of? That's the thing. That, that's where you find out where this they're, all leads. They're scared mm -hmm. of their left-wing base. Yeah. yeah. They'd rather talk away the issue than take action. Correct. Yeah. Uh, just for the record, if you did ever stay in one of my castles... One uh, of my I castles. Wouldn't use, I wouldn't use rats. They're unreliable. I'd use a fox. Oh, uh, okay. So, oh, I like that. I need a very big trap for a fox. Um, but anyway, good. You'd like it. The fox gets the fox. You get it? I get it. You now. see where I'm going with that. Road trip. Uh, <laughs> up next, no wonder there's no hope for the future. These spoiled generation Z, Z brats, oh whatever they call themselves, say they actually love cancel culture. We'll be debating that next. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.